Okay, uh, today is Saturday, and I finally think I have a decent enough mail today to show people. Uh, the last few days have been, uh, other than that last cards uh, that came in a few days ago, I have not been getting anything in. But finally I have some stuff that came in. I have a TTM, couple TTM successes, and um, I have another success I was going to show, but I can't find it, a golf success. And I cannot for the life of me remember if it was a hit the deck success or I didn't send out for hit the deck. Um, but um, I can't record that or talk about it unless I find it um, in all this stuff here. But we will start off here with a purchase here. This was five cents at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Don't know why I bought it. Early admission, July 9th, 10th, and 11th. Registered buyer, non-transferable. But that pin was five cents. So I figured, well, five cent pin, okay, that's fine. Um, grab that. And then I grabbed this silly little uh, J Japan... Uh, I don't know, um, bear uh, juggling dice or something like that. No idea. Ceramic, Japan, 1950s, 60s, no idea. But again, it was a quarter, so I said, okay, fine, I'll grab that. This I picked up at Dollar Tree, and this is EWY, I don't know how, Ewe, or Evi, or Ewe, Roskvist, Ros, Roskvist. And uh, she is the first female touring car Grand Prix winner, and this is a Matchbox car. I think I read somewhere that they made 50,000 of these to commemorate uh, her event or something like that because they were trying to add uh, some uh, women to their, their Matchbox line or something. And this is from like 2019, so what was it doing at Dollar Tree? This is the only one of those. There was all kinds of weird... So if you check out your Dollar Trees, there's a lot of interesting uh, uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels there of all different kinds. It does not have... Uh, this is probably worth about what I paid for it, maybe $5 at the most, but... Um, so let's get into the autograph requests. This one was a long time success because I had a ruined card and I finally got a decent card and he signed it, but very ridiculously tiny signature. Uh, it only took me 20 plus years or something to get it, but Rich Troidson, um, tiny pen signature right there on his shoulder. Um, Would have been nice if it was a little bigger, but can't complain. And uh, that came uh, faster than I, I mean, it got sent back as soon as I, I, I didn't even know it was, couldn't believe that's what that was, 74 for my set there, so there's another one there. This one here, I have a whole bunch of these cards here that I guess it just spilled out here. And this is out of uh, North Carolina. Um, I don't have the envelope, but uh, you'll believe me when you see this. And I got Mike Beam, and he's a crew chief or something um, back in the old days, Mike Beam. And uh, this is a uh, crew chief for the Maxwell House for Junior Johnson and Associates. I can't see that one. He signed all the other ones that I wanted to keep for, him to keep for himself. So he signed everything. Um, maybe that's why it took so long. I have no idea. Uh, there's this one for tracks. I have this one. And probably the coolest one is this uh, Pro Set Racing from Maxwell House. So that's really pretty neat. I really liked that one. So that is very, very neat to have that one. And then finally, we have the purchase here. And these are all USA Baseball here. Uh, some of these, uh, in fact, almost all of these sell for more than I bought them for. Um, so we'll do the best one first here, probably. This is Drew Pomeranz, uh, 188 of 499 USA winning materials for my uh, uh, collecting that kind of set there. And this usually has a six dollar price tag on it. I think I got it for a buck seventy five. I'm not sure. And I paid some sort of combined shipping. We have Chad Bettis, uh, national team. This is again out of three ninety nine. Three out of three ninety nine. A different one. That was four ninety nine. So not very small enough print runs for these. Matt Newman. Some of these guys are only on the USA baseball team. Number one hundred out of three ninety nine. Some of these were top loaded and some of them were not. So I don't know. These are all sticker autographs, by the way. Brian Regira, uh, numbered 1234 out of 399. Sticker auto and relic. There's the back in case you care, but I think those were a buck a piece for those. Philip Pfeiffer, I think he was also a dollar, number 392 out of 399. Two more here. We have um, Rick Hague, or Haig, and this is number 289 out of 399, and the same type of deal there. And last but not least, this is number 499. This is Cody Buckle. I don't remember him doing a lot, but he had sure had a lot of cards. So I guess he had a lot of promise. I don't remember Cody Buckle, do you? So there was that. So that's really all I have. I don't have a lot more uh, cards like this coming in. Um, I kind of put the brakes on that because I don't know what... 
you could you could just go crazy. There's like hundreds and hundreds of different variations of all of these cards here. Uh, so it's really silly. All the different upper deck and panini sets and tops and whatever. So that's really all I have for you. I'm going to try to get some more hit the deck uh, um, sent out this week or next week. I've got some stamps coming in. I'll see if I can find that other missing golf request. And thank you for